What's up, YouTube? Southern Comic Geek coming to you with a huge, I mean huge, it's its absolutely stupendous, it's amazing, probably the largest one you've ever seen. Personal comic book haul collection uh, that uh, I'm coming with. So I've been kind of lax on the uh, haul videos as of late, and I've had a couple of people hit me up and say, hey, when are you going to do another haul video? It's not like I've been comic you know, exclusion and not being able to uh, see any comic shops, fortunately, and for the most part, uh, we have been maintaining the ability to be able to go to the LCSs. So last week, uh, what's going on, uh, Mr. Comics 89? How are you? Uh, but yeah, so last week I visited four different comic shops, came home, different comics, and no good There we go. No. So, uh, so yeah, so hopefully uh, that didn't mess up too bad. Uh, but, yeah, so four different comic shops last week. And just this weekend, last night, as a matter of fact, I was able to go to the first comic expo since all this corona madness began in Huntsville, Alabama. I did get to meet up with Big Will as well as uh, Two Brothers Comics for a short time. And so uh, they, too, were there uh, getting various uh, things. And I brought a lot of comic books home with me. And that's what I plan show today. Uh, this evening, I will be on Shortbox Padawan's uh, comic auction, so hopefully you will join uh, me there. And um, yeah, so it was an internet thing or something, uh, uh, man. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what the deal was. But so yeah, so hopefully you'll join me there at 7.30 Central Time. Uh, Shortbox Padawan, myself, uh, Lady Fantastic, and several other folks are going to be joining us uh, on the auction there tonight. Uh, I know there's a lot of auctions going on. That's all the time these days. Uh, but you can open up more than one tab on your internet and keep us tuned uh, in. So I know that I've been seeing some of the previews for them. And I know I've got a lot of uh, dollar stuff. If you like Batman, if you like Bronze Age, if you you know like Spider-Man, you know, hey, I, I've got it. And I'm sure they will too. So tune in for that. So there's a little plug if you're watching this live on Sunday afternoon, July the 19th. But if not... Disregard that message. Let's just dig into the comics. And so I got a huge, I mean huge, Batman haul. How many, anybody like Batman? If you have it, if you like Batman or if you don't like Batman, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button and then bell notification. So that like these people that were able to jump in so quickly uh, have probably already done that they will know when videos like this drop. So I got some huge Batman hauls. Uh, let's start with Batman. Man, 445. Man, no invite. Oh, <laughs> well, look, this is what I'm going to do. Let's see. Uh, clip. Um, let's see. I know that's kind of uh, a scary thing to do, but if I don't recognize you, I'm not going to put you into the, the stream yard. But Matt, if you want to jump on, no good comics. If you want to jump on, you can certainly feel free to jump on to share some comics, okay? So yeah, 4, 446, 447, and all of these are in order now, but they weren't in order, and they weren't all these great little boards and bags because I've already reboarded and bagged them. 448, 453, Mike Magnolia, goodness. Four fifty six. Looking at Jason Todd, he still thought he was dead at that time. Uh, 459, and I already had some that are in these gaps right there. Comic Mag Musings, hello, sir. How are you this afternoon? 460. 461. 465. I think that's a play on like an iconic cover there. Yeah, I, I, on my end, I, no good. I don't know what the deal is, but uh, that's 467, 468. Most of these I got for 80 cents because I bought them in bulk from the various dealers that were there. Uh, some of them I got for as little as 50 cents. Uh, so, yeah, great deals on some comics. Uh, I know there was a lot of uh, dealers there that were ready to make some deals, ready to move some product 
far since the season had not been happening like it had. I was talking to Chris Claremont as an aside, and um, he, I said, well, I really appreciate you showing up when everybody else bailed on us. And he said, well, to be honest with you, it's really not a hard deal uh, because 70% of my income has been shot to, uh, shot to you know where because of this whole COVID deal. So uh, <laughs> I guess you know, it was really a money issue. So we got 470 little killer croc action on 471, 472, reminds me of an Eagle song, Queen of Hearts is your best bet, but in Batman's case, I don't know if that's the deal, so there you go, we got 474, 476, and I almost positive I already have that comment, but it was not in CLZ, so I went ahead and bought it anyway. 477 some weird looking um like claymation uh covers on these but uh, yeah 477 478 yeah, that's my kid in there hollering in the background. 484. 485, a little Black Max out, uh, action there. 501. So this is when Azrael takes over after Bane breaks Batman's back. And so then you have go from Nightfall to Night Quest. And um, this is uh, Kelly Jones' uh, art uh, there on the cover. Mike Manley, who's also known for drawing Dark Hawk. On the rewind, not sure why my computer keeps doing that. Uh, 504, little Catwoman action. 505. 512. 513, little Two-Face, 514, oh, Batman's tick. Somebody's fixing to be in trouble. Batman's back and you're going to be in trouble. Hey, now, hey, now, Batman's back. Okay, that's enough of that. All right, so 516. Uh, John Beatty, who is an inker, uh, ink this. Uh, he's best known for uh, Secret Wars, um, Amazing Spider-Man, you know, back in that era. But uh, he and Kelly Jones had a, a run in these 500s with uh, Batman. 517. 518. And Kelly Jones, Batman. Man, you really have to get used to because he has like bunny years, you know, uh, which it was funny because Capullo basically brought that back with the uh, uh, Batman suit that Commissioner Gordon wore in the new 52. 519. Then we got 520. 521. Killer Croc, it's Batman. I'm gonna get you. 522. Swamp Thing. And Killer Croc. Yeah, Killer Croc's like, yeah, I got my boy Swamp Thing. He's fixed to whoop your butt. Get him, Swamp Thing. Get him. Get him. So uh, then we got 523. Uh, a little scarecrow action there. Then we got 532. Uh, I think this is a dead man appearance, but really it says it right here, but it's a glow in the dark cover. So uh, looking at when this was put out, which is in July of 96, this is a very early glow in the dark cover because uh, back in the day, um, you know, Ghost Rider was the first glow in the dark cover. And so this is 533, 555. 557, 649, little jock action now, and then 668. 
And that is all my Batman main series. So um, I have got an awful lot of Batman. Um, for those of you who have noticed my posts, I was able to pick up a Batman number eight. That's right, Batman number eight, volume one, not volume two, not volume three. I already had those, but we're talking about volume one, 1941. And for those of you who are not familiar with that cover, that is the Infinity cover where him and Robin are going, <laughs> and they're watching, looking, or reading the, uh, rather, the Batman 8 comic, and then, which are reading the Batman 8 comic, which are reading the Batman 8 comic. And so it's an Infinity cover. And so kind of reminds me of Chuck Norris, right? Chuck Norris is so bad that he counted to Infinity twice. Remember that. Okay. So, yeah, that's my regular Batman. Be sure to tell me what you think uh, in the comments if you are live. And if you're not, that's fine, too. Leave them in the comments down below. But uh, these I have not boarded and reboarded and bagged yet, but they will be rescued. We got Wolverine 66, a little tax action. Um, oh, Mike, Tex uh, is it Texeria? But uh, yeah, so he, I remember him best for uh, Ghost Rider. Those uh, awesome Ghost Rider covers. Star Wars Kanan, The Last Padawan. Awesome Mike Brooke covers, number seven. And then number three. And uh, again, all of these were a dollar, 80 cents, 89 cents. Um, then we got X Men Gold, number 12. I mean, that was just a plethora. And um, I don't know uh, if I'm look if I'm uh, totally okay with diving into uh, long boxes if they're for eighty cents and a dollar a piece, right? Especially when you start, you know, seeing a bunch of stuff that you like, you start pulling them out, pulling them out. But uh, when you go into a, uh, some, which thankfully didn't have none like that this time. But when you start going into uh, things and then they want to uh, price everything off eBay. Uh, yeah, uh, Bub, I did too. Uh, those uh, Wolverine covers were awesome, and those Ghost Rider ones were as well. I did find this. This was quite interesting. Atari Force, and maybe somebody in the comments can maybe uh, give a little uh, color to this more than I can. But, of course, as a young kid, my uncle had an Atari. That was long before the days of Nintendo. And this was Atari Force. And so created and written by Jerry Conway and Roy Thomas, uh, Dick Giordano um, is on the design. Uh, those were the, uh, and, and it was the editor. And so those are some big names uh, that most people would recognize. And so this is the Atari Force, and it's an ash can. Uh, what was interesting uh, to boot was the guy, I took a break when I pulled this out. I said, look, I'm going to go buy some lunch, and uh, would you hold these because I wanted to get the bulk discount. So the guy says, yeah, that's fine. He said, man, that's interesting. I wonder if that was done at the same time I worked at Atari. So the guy that was at the comic booth actually worked for Atari. And that was in 1982. I know a lot of you weren't even alive then. Now I feel old. Okay. So then we got Wolverine, uh, two months or three months to die. That's number nine. Just because. Then we got Predator versus Magnus, the robot fighter, uh, number two. Um, this is some Barry Windsor Smith goodness. Been picking up a lot of Barry Windsor Smith covers lately. Um, and so, uh, just really appreciating his work on even Ruin, uh, Rune, I guess you'd say, uh, from Malibu, uh, days. Atari is about the extent of my video gaming capabilities. Comic Mag Musing says, Hey, um, I'm not that far behind you. I did, uh, get, uh, you know, all the Segas and Nintendos as I got older. But, uh, but yeah, so when you go to uh, Pitfall and uh, Asteroids and games like that, uh, Frogger, I uh, really can't go wrong, right? Still had to have an imagination. Nowadays with these uh, movies or uh, video games are more like movies as the graphics are better. Uh, we got Magnus, a robot fighter versus Nexus, a little Dark Horse and Valiant mixed up, match up. That's number two. And then, of course, we had number one. So really cool looking painted cover there. Got, you know, you always got to have a little X-Men love. You got to have a little Batman love or you got to have some Valiant love. Hey, I'm spreading love around, right? And so there's some Valiant stuff. Uh, that's the bubble I'm in. <laughs> um, 
Uh, Matt from uh, Mr. Comics 89 says, I still play my Game Boy Advance and uh, Pokemon games. Hey, look, I, I was content with a black and white Game Boy. I thought I was big stuff at that time. Uh, that That's your bowl. <laughs> so then we got Armories number 12. And uh, this is a series. This is the last issue of that series. And for those of you who are X-Men aficionados, you will recognize instantly the homage to Uncanny X-Men 138, uh, the issue after um, Phoenix dies and Cyclops is seen walking away with his duffel bag, just like uh, Gunny is right here. And so, yeah, that is an homage cover and Valiant couldn't pass it up. Uh, Heroes for Hire number four. Uh, this is the series from the 90s and only needed a couple of them. And so it was weird that I was like, oh, wow, I can't believe I found one I needed. It's one of those series that I soft collect. If I see it, I'll get it, but I'm not going to go out there and pay crazy bucks when you include shipping at some uh, eBay factory somewhere. So uh, Death Mate, the prologue. Yeah, a little Jim Lee and Bob Lee. Goodness there. Yeah, can't pass it up for 80 cents. Then we got the Armories number five. Then we got Alpha Flight number 33. Now, I actually picked up two of these. Uh, you'll see the other one later. It's in a little better shape. This one has got a really bad spine roll. I'm really contemplating getting a press. Uh, anybody that has any uh, suggestions uh, as far as a uh, pressing uh uh, name of a pressing uh, machine that you would suggest, hit me up on IG on it because I am kind of thinking about it. And I said, well, you know, if I don't get any other, I do got a copy. This is the first lady death strike. Uh, and so I got a copy of it and I'm good. Well, then I found a better copy of it later on at a different booth. And so I only paid like 80, 89 cents for it. So it's not a really big deal. So we got all new Exiles number zero. And of course, this is an homage to Days of Future Past. With the little wanted posters in the back. Then we got Age of Apocalypse number two. This is from the Secret Wars time. And this is a connecting cover. And let's see if it connects this way. It connects it. There, here we go. I already had one of them. And so these were the other two that I needed to connect to. So pick those up. Then we've got the Chaos Effect um, Alpha, and I already had this comic, but I thought it interesting that it had the card. Uh, back in the 90s, cards were the flame, and, and really it was funny because I just noticed uh, somebody and anybody that's in the chat that knows which one I'm talking about is coming out with another set of cards, and I thought that interesting because in the 90s, the cards were all the rave too. Um, Wolverine 37, a little lady death strike. I just picked up the True Believers uh, copy of this issue, so found it for less than a buck. And then we got Wildcats number six, a little Jim Lee goodness. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, all right. Um, then we got Batman Legends of the Dark Knight number 50. This is a Brian Bolin cover. How could you pass up? Joker, Brian Bolin. Smiling kitty cat. Meow. Meow. <laughs> uh, and then down there, it also has a special pinup section uh, with uh, Howard uh, Shaken, uh, Jim Lee, Mike Zach, and many others. Five bucks. People, five bucks. Can pass it up. Can pass it up. Marvel, Marvel Milestone Edition. This is the giant size X Men. And so I uh, try to put uh, homage covers. Uh, copycats, facsimiles, all beside the originals. And so I got that one as well. Then we got The Visitor from, I did not read this back in the day. Um, and uh, for those of you who are interested, I did, uh, I've got probably 30 minutes uh, before I have to get on Short Box Padawan's uh, auction um, or get ready for that auction, finish getting ready for it. Uh, but yeah, so if you want to join, I did drop the link earlier. I uh, did not read this back in the day, uh, but I did read the new series. Now, Valiant, uh, the heads of Valiant, uh, they have an agenda that they like to, to spread. And so I really did not like the new visitor series. Hopefully it is not true to the original. Hopefully the original is much better because I was able to pick all but the last issue up. Uh, this is number 11. Uh, 
Uh, number nine. Number eight. Number seven. And then we got number six, which is interesting. This is 96, I think it is. Yeah, because the claim's already taken over Valiant. Check that out. Newsstand. That's right. I never saw a lot of Valiants on the newsstands when I was a kid. Um, maybe it was a northern thing. I had to pick them up at the LCS if I wanted to get them. This is number five. Number four four with another newsstand number three yeah so it's fun when you're going through a long box t caves bat cave hello hello man i was showing off your mojo man i was showing off all the batmans that i got earlier uh so be sure to check that out on the rewind and check out all that batman goodness but um you go, oh, there's number five. Oh, there's number four. You know, and you, you keep going back and you're hoping that they have the whole set. Uh, I was running into a, a good bit of that yesterday. So visitor number two. Then we got the visitor versus the Valiant Universe number one. Then we got the visitor versus the Valiant Universe number two. So it's always fun when you can get the whole little mini or maxi series so that you um, can read it because I still read my comics. So Wildcats, number 13. Uh, but I'll get a little spec on uh, Grifter lately. I uh, always thought he was a cool character. Jim Lee's um, probably my favorite artist, overall artist. Um, and so I know Wildcats 1's been kind of specking out because uh, Grifter's going to enter into some kind of role with Batman as a uh, kind of a Alfred-type deal backup. Uh, uh, look who's a lurking. At least he's not twerking. And that's Perry. Perry. All right. So Wildcats number 11. 11. Ooh, that's a cover that uh, Bubs can get behind. Then we got Turok Empty Souls. Uh, this is a one shot. And um, I actually have the uh, retailer's. Um, uh, what you call it when the retailer gets a uh, preview, retailer's preview of that same co uh, comic. Uh, Ninja number 11, or Ninja K, depending on what time you picked up on that. Number 15, Cry Wolf. Boy, the Cry Wolf. We got uh, Messiah War Cable, uh, number 14, uh, variant edition. Got Deadpool. Shooting his brains, <laughs> his brains, a little domino action there. Uh, not a real big DC fan, but I didn't really like the DC New 52 uh, take on the Justice League. And of course, we had Jim Lee action, couldn't beat it for 50 cents. Had to pick it up, had to pick it up. Turok, Son of Stone, uh, issue number one. I think this is a one shot. Uh, even though it does say first spectacular issue, this is uh, Turok, which was a gold key uh, deal. Uh, for those who grew up in the 90s, Turok was a Valiant character, uh, part of the whole connected universe there. And then Valiant, when it went bankrupt after a claim acquired them, uh, got tossed around. Uh, Turok, Magnus, and Solar, which were all gold key characters, got tossed around. At this time, he was with Dark Horse. Um, he's been with, I'm trying to think of who else, but they're with Dynamite now. And I uh, thought this was a really cool cover. Didn't recognize the artist's name, but I did recognize Jim Shooter, who was uh, the writer, editor back in the day for Valiant. So I picked that one up. Uh, X-Men Legacy 216. A little more text and Wolverine action with Wolverine 68 newsstand. A little... It's like a little Omega Red action going on there, too. Then we got the Chaos Effect Epilogue Part 1. This is from Valiant. You know, Chaos Effect was one of the um, tie-ins. And then this is Part 2. Then we got the PSI Lords. At least it's not the PMS Lords. Boy, that'd be horrible. The What's in the Box Already show says, Hi, Southern Comic Geek, and hello to yourself as well. 
Thank you for stopping in. Uh, but there, yes, the PSI Lords, and this is done in Valiant Vision. Valiant was kind of ahead of its time and had the little 3D uh, deal that they tried on several issues. Uh, then we got X Force number three. This is the um, I think this is the second volume. Uh, Life field it, it only lasts for this is issue three, so it, it lasts five issues and then goes away. Talking about Life field feet, I've got one to show you. It's the true sign of Life field feet. Um, then we got Alpha Flight 34. Mike Magnola goodness. Uh, this is a partial origin of uh, the adamantium. Uh, process for Wolverine. We got pit number two. Yes, pit. Then we got visitor number one. Yeah, so I, I got it at a different store. Like I said, I haven't got all those right there and reboarded and bagged like I wanted to just yet. But they will get there. Don't worry. Don't worry. And then we got Ninjack number 13. Number 12, we got Captain Marvel, number 60, X-Men, number two. This is the Mexican variant. So this is a more recent Mexican variant. I hadn't seen these before. That doesn't mean they don't exist, but I just hadn't seen them before. And they, on the front cover is English, and they changed it up by making it shiny. And then, but uh, if you look, it says Marvel Mexico. And so, uh, but the inside of the book's in Spanish. So that's uh, X-Men 2. So like I said, with the Marvel Milestone giant size X-Men earlier, that uh, I would uh, put that beside the original when I do the twinsy wall. And Bullseye Bob from Everything Comics has decided to drop in. Thank you, kind sir. I hope everything is going well on the West Coast for you, but I appreciate you stopping in today. So, uh, Wolverine 42. Newsstand. Yeah, and this is uh, the issue before this, or it might be in this one. Sabretooth comes up with the lie that he's actually Wolverine's daddy and uh, all that kind of jazz. And this is an early cable appearance. Um, and so, yeah, two bucks. Then we got X-Men number three. This is the Mexicano version as well. See Cyclops's little shiny blast there. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number eight. A guest starring Cerberus. And um, so, yeah, this is pretty cool. Black and white, original TMNT. Uh, picked it up, I think, 10 bucks. So it says, uh, just got done filming with Bullet Bueller and saw you were streaming. Uh, everything is going great, man. I just went to a Comic Con. Uh, planned on coming to the one out there that you and Bueller had um, uh, said that you were going to be at. Unfortunately, the corona hit us, and uh, that wasn't going to be in the cards, but I uh, was able to get to one, and that's where I picked up all these yesterday. Uh, New Mutants number 86. I had the original, or the direct, rather. Picked up the new stand for uh, 10 bucks. Then we got uh, Ninjack number eight, number seven, number six. Then we got Geomancer number six, teaming up with Turok. As I mentioned earlier at this time was a Valiant property. Number five. Number four this is one of those little maxi series that they had. Number three, number two, then number one, common theme back then, chromium cover, chromium wraparound cover. Ooh, shiny goodness. Um, I did not see Robbie. I understood that he was there and that was going to be doing some uh, streams and whatever like that. I saw two brothers comics. I saw Big Will. I did not uh, saw Big Ben seventy, which I don't know if he puts content out, but I know he's on YouTube. I did not see uh, Robbie there, so maybe I was not in the right place. 
Uh, have not seen Geomancer in a long time. Well, you know, one thing that you're going to see, or one of three things you're going to see, if not all three on my channel, is going to be X-Men, Batman, or Valiant related. Uh, a lot of other stuff too, but you know, those, those are my main, main deal. Then we got profit number one. I think this is volume two. Again, a chromium wraparound cover. I saw several copies of, um, was it Youngblood two first appearance of profit and first appearance of shadow heart, which is my, uh, more like character. If that makes sense. Uh, did not pick that up. Um, could have specked on a little bit as people have been. Then we got the visitor number 10. And number 12, Armories, number 10. The Armories, uh, number nine, uh, were some uh, a military ops unit that they created these big Armories deal to deal with the Exo Man of War suit that uh, they did, the government did not like the idea of being in the hands of um, – one man so they uh, made these suits to try to combat that and then they ended up being more of a uh, superhero uh, number eight because as you can see with number seven they're fighting alongside exo man of war out there looks like the may leaves from um it's probably dealing with the spider aliens but uh looks like from a uh, uh number six because then it says bug hunt. Number four. You know, this ain't going to be acceptable nowadays. You know, I remember when Wolverine quit smoking. It was right after Ad, uh, Magneto pulled the adamantium out of him. And then Gambit, somewhere around there, quit smoking as well. And uh, they just decided to quit pushing uh, that. So number three. Find some more spider aliens. Which were the big galactic baddie for... Uh, Valiant. Uh, Wildcats number 18. Been thinking about making a run at all the Wildcats lately. Been finding them up, picking them up for on the cheap. Number nine. Then number 14. And you're thinking, my goodness, especially if you've been here the entire uh, 32 minutes that I've been rambling on and showing off comics, you're going, my goodness, man, how did you even get out of there? I'll have to show you all the picture of what I was using to uh, haul around all these comics. Everybody uh, was wanting to buy one off of me. I told them it was for sale for the right price. Uh, Shadow of the Bat 37. I typically stay... I try to stay as far as on collecting in the Batman or sometimes de uh, Detective, the main series. Sometimes veer off, but there's a Joker cover at number 38. Yep, 38. And so this is the story with that. So I decided to keep it. Uh, it was in with another bag for a comic I paid 80 cents for. So essentially I paid 40 cents for that one. Uh, these were the Nightfall, parts of Nightfall I did not have. I had all the detective and the Batman ones, but this is Showcase 93, Issue 8, Nightfall, Part 14. And then we got Showcase 93, Issue 7, and this is Nightfall, Part 13. X-Men Legacy 221. I decided to start picking up the Legacy ones I didn't have, uh, which are the continuation of the um, Jim Lee uh, era X-Men series we got 230 we got some really cool uh miko Sai Su suyan i think so you pronounce it uh if you're not uh if it's not part of that but uh 229 and some great mark brooks covers in that x-men legacy run uh 228 227 it looks like a terry yeah a terry dotson cover 226, 223, that's a Nico cover right there. Then we got 222. Let's see if these covers can write. They almost look like they do, but maybe there's another cover I'm missing somewhere. 221, maybe it's 220. 
Oh, it's too small. And the only comics that I needed to complete the set originally on the X Force One, I did not have these because I was not a big uh, fan of Mike Allred's uh, take on the new X Force team. So originally, I didn't collect those last few issues that they uh, had with them. Uh, then I said, "Well, I'm a completist. Let me go ahead and get them." I picked them all up on the cheap, except for two. That has now been completed. X Force 124 with Go Go Girl there, and then X Force 122. So now I got the whole volume one set. This is X Force and Cable 96. With, you know, they started naming the annuals uh, by the year that they came out. Well, I appreciate that. Appreciate you saying that and stopping by and hanging out with us as well. What's going on, Who Dad? Man, 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 did you see that Turtles that I picked up? Now, look, I know it's not a Turtles one. You know, it's nothing to the level of your turtle collecting ability. But, hey, it's a Turtles 8, I think. So, you know, that's, that's a start. Um, but uh, new X-Men 45, the Messiah Complex, uh, a little David Finch action there. I thought for sure I had this book, but uh, maybe i just seen it before. Um didn't see it. I like your new uh, logo, by the way. Um, but yeah, so they. Uh, uh, one of the problems that I've run into with uh, collecting is that. Um, start blending my memories together. So like if I had something from back in the day and, uh, but I don't have it now, I'll start thinking well, I had it and vice versa. So uh, this was it. Number eight, super clean copy, picked it up for 10 bucks. Uh, new X-Men 46, more David Finch goodness there. X-Men Legacy 213. 214. New Mutants number 13, an Audie Granoff cover there from the second coming set. Yeah, I'll have to show you that Donatello one in a bit. I got a that one shot Donatello too. You've probably seen it. Uh, but cable number 15, Apocalypse. Gotta be in 12. X-Men 14, Wolverine and Strife going at it there. Cable 7, now with 400% more X-Men. See, I believe I've already said that before, so I'm almost positive I had it in there. Sometimes, like, when I'm scanning a lot of uh, books, uh, especially in the past when I was trying to scan them and I wasn't keeping up with where I bought them from and what I uh, paid for them, um, I ran into some of that. At least that's what I found with my CLZ app. So cable number 17, that's a, that second series there, second full series. Then we got profit and cable. I promised you that I was going to show you the example of Liefeld feet that is the ugliest Liefeld feet I've ever seen, and that's here with Mr. Cable, one of his own creations. Look at those feet. Are those boats? Are those feet? I mean, I feel like he just tried to cheat by saying he's wearing moon shoes or something so that um, he didn't have to draw like feet shapes. Anyway, uh, but yeah, uh, Profit and Cable, you know, Marvel, and then we're doing a lot of going back and forth, uh, teaming up with characters back in the day. There's an issue of this where Cable's in the background and Profit's on the forefront, but I didn't see that one, just that one. Uh, then we got cable negative 11 or minus one. So this was some kind of a ghost. I mean, I didn't even see this. Um, and so uh, until yesterday, I mean, I saw it on eBay, but who wants to do that for that, that book? I mean, it's a book to complete your collection and that's it. It's not, it's not a, a collector's item or nothing. So uh, CLZ makes life so much easier than it was back in the day for sure. Of course, when I was younger, you know, you can remember everything. Then you get older, you have to start writing stuff down. And uh, I see guys still will come up with their paper uh, list to mark off what they got and what they don't have. And I said, man, I don't know how you do that anymore. I really don't. Uh, Astonishing X-Men number six. I think this is the first appearance of Sword. Uh, a while back, I picked up a copy of this for a couple of bucks, and I was like, man, this is so awesome because there was, 
you know, it was kind of spiking up a little bit and then realized that it was the reprint or the Marvel Legends uh, comic that came with the toy. Uh, this one, however, is the real McCoy. No play on uh, Beast's name. Uh, but yeah, so this is uh, Astonishing X-Men number six. We've got Power Man and Iron Fist number 87. A little Moon Knight cameo there. Been on somewhat of a Moon Knight craze lately. Uh, Batman and Robin number one, The Boy Wonder. I had the Robin cover signed by Jim Lee, but hey, who doesn't love a Batman drawn by Jim Lee for 80 cents? 80 cents, people. That can't go wrong. Uh, free comic book day, X-Men Runaways, a little reflective cover action there. Wasn't free to me, but it was next to free. Then we got Death Mate uh, Blue with Valiant and Image crossover. Of course, I had this back in the day, but it bit the dust when I got rid of my former collection. Uh, Alpha Flight 33, told you I had another better copy um, that I found later in another loan box. Wildcats 20 as well as some Barry Windsor Smith uh, cover work there. And Barry Windsor Smith again with Spider-Man Marvel Team-Up 150. X-Men Legacy 219. Then we got Uncanny X-Men 248, the gold edition, the second print. I had two newsstands of the original one, but I did not have that one. Uh, X-Men 15. That's of the um, second X-Men set, not con connected to Uncanny. X-Men Legacy 248, cool reflective cover there. Then we got X-Men Legacy 243. I'm surprised I found this one in the uh, deal, and there is one spine tick on this whole uh, book. And, um, I mean, otherwise, it's, it's pretty sharp. And that's Dark Hawk number one. Uh, I've got a newsstand, didn't have a direct, and uh, there's a little yellowing to the newsstand when I had. And so, yeah, I found that. Surprised about that. Uncanny X-Men 201. This is the Marvel Legends uh, version of that. Werewolf by Night 37. This is the third appearance of Mr. Moon Knight. Uh, saw a first and second appearance uh, yesterday. I really wasn't in a big book buying binge yesterday. Just filling in a bunch of runs. Did buy a couple of first appearances. I'll show you in just a minute. But, um, but buying mostly these runs, except for this. This is the third appearance. And so I paid a little more for this um, and got it. Uh, the second and first appearance, the, the table that had those, they were way overpriced, and I wasn't in the mood to negotiate by that point because I'd been there all day, two hours in Chris Claremont's line. Um, and so it was crazy. Uh, Batman number 357, this is the first appearance of Jason Todd as well as uh, Killer Croc. I think he's only in a uh, trench coat, so he didn't really reveal himself, I believe. But uh, either case, he is in this book. And so that is the that's the biggest price book that I bought yesterday. Um, then we got uh, X Men One Hundred One. This is the Marvel Legends uh, book. And so, yeah, uh, this was one of the ones I wanted. I've got um, the British Pence version. I've got a French version of this, and I've got the English version. Uh, now I've got the Marvel Legends uh, copy of that. I think there's a Marvel Milestone out there. And I've got a few homage covers um, from that particular comic. I just have not got it yet. Uh, so I don't know how many of you remember these back in the day. Um, Marvel keep or these are the X Men uh, keepsake collections. I got a Wildcats one too, but they're numbered. Uh, this is uh, limited to five thousand. Uh, I think this is a two forty seven. Uh, but so the, this is uh, I got this on IG and uh, thought it was pretty cool. And so these are the prints uh, pictures of.
the uh, X Men. I, I, I always like that uh, picture there. It's in color, and I think X Men one. A little Omega Red action, all Jim Lee. Yeah, got the first cover there. Yep. Yeah. And that's all these here are, and they were numbered. Uh, this is the proof set. Uh, this is 247. I remember them coming into uh, the comic shop, and I used to have both of these. Uh, again, being a Jim Lee fan, being a X Men fan, uh, picked these up on the cheap. Haven't seen those in a while, for sure. Uh, but very similar. Uh, the Wildcats one uh, does the same thing. This is uh, 3,560 of 5,000. And I uh, thought those were a little different. Sorry to pick them up. So those were all my findings from the Comic Con. Um, but I've got uh, a bunch more from the four comic shops. Uh, adult coloring book. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, so let's dive into these. This is powers of X, uh, powers of 10, number four, the rogue, um, toy or, uh, the rogue, uh, action figure variant, red hood and the outlaws 36 oblivion song image first. Number one, I've got the pink sig version and the regular version. So decided to pick that one up. This is free comic book day over street comic book marketplace, 2014. And it's got a lot of the early Batman uh, covers in here. So they gave it to me for free. Uh, then we got Batman 184 from the checkered uh, board days. And of course I think it's at 183. That's the first poison Ivy or 181. Anyway, it's really close to this. So pick that up on the cheap. I think uh, 10 bucks or less. Uh, then we got 197. You'll take Batman to your catacombs over my dead body, Catwoman. Have it your way, Batgirl. Batman's like, hey, checks, chill out, man. Chill out. So then we got Shadow Man, number one. This is from the uh, volume two. This is one of Claim and taking them over. In the later issues of Shadow Man, Clayton Crane did some of his earliest work. And so, uh, unfortunately, I did not find the Clayton Crane ones. Uh, that's number one. Uh, number six. Number five. Some wicked looking covers, though. What's up, Bear Rockin' Comics? How are you, sir? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, number four, number three, I think Sha I'm, I'm liking Shadow Man to like the Brother Voodoo of Valiant. Anybody that's a Brother Voodoo fan, if you want to add any kind of commentary on that, feel free. Uh, number two, these were all in the dollar bin at the LCS, um, this is what else I found in the dollar bin at the LCS. Alpha Flight 51. First Marvel art for Jim Lee. And I was like, I asked the uh, guy at the LCS, I said, when y'all get these in? He goes, oh, I don't know. I just threw them back there. They're all a dollar. Okay. All right. Yeah, the funnest part about the haul, about aside from sharing it, uh, Bob, and, and I'm sure everybody else feels this way, is the hunt, right? You dig into the long box. Oh, yes, I found it. That's one I was looking for. Oh, yeah, got to love the Jim Lee fire. That is correct. Uh, then we got Alpha Flight 52. I uh, picked it up because it was the issue after that. And for some reason, I was thinking it was Jim Lee, but then I don't think CLZ told me it was, so. Uh, Power Rangers, The Road to Ranger Slayer, number one. This is the free comic book day. Uh, Canuck, Beyond, and Captain Battelle. Uh, free comic book day. Never heard of them. Uh, X-Men, number one. I've got several copies of this, and then I went to another LCS. I went to four the other day. Uh, uh, so 
Um, anyway, they all gave me copies of the X-Men. So I took them. Uh, these free comic book days and these days are, uh, uh, can get a little value on them. And of course it was X-Men. So I wanted to know what was going on. So they're kind of setting up the little swords event that's going to be happening in a few months. Absolutely. Favorite part too. The hunt is life. That's right. Yeah. And you know, I'm not saying I don't, I always, sh I do shop in a lot of local auctions. I encourage you to shop on short box Padawan's auction, which we'll be having in just a few short minutes. And, um, so yeah, so I uh, do a lot of that, and that's a little bit different. I like the, um, it, it, for eBay, you can say, okay, I want this one comic, and you search the things, you narrow it all down. Where's the fun in that? Hey, that's a couple of words, you know? It's not near the deal as what, let's say, random, I guess, randomness of collecting. So I've got what I want, or maybe I haven't seen something. Somebody shows it up on YouTube randomly. It's like, oh, cool. Um, you know, that, that that's what I meant. The randomness is just not there, which is some of the fun of it. Uh, Weird books? Never, never really heard of that. Feel free to elaborate in the comments if you knew. Uh, My Little Pony. Uh, never really liked My Little Pony, you know, as a kid. My sister did. Uh, but, hey, it's a free comic book, so I just decided to pick it up. I believe you saw number 24. I already had 25, which starts the new arc. Uh, but um, somehow I missed 24. My comic shop missed 24, to be more exact, because uh, it's on my pool list. Uh, but, yeah, so Oblivion Song, if you haven't already picked it up, pick up the trades. They're fairly uh, cheap. This was one of the finds of the day last Wednesday um, because I know I've rated these comic book one uh, dollar bins uh, every week, uh, and I know these weren't in there, and so he picked them up sometime and threw them in there. Uh, Star Wars twenty eight from the Marvel series. A lot of these are new stands. Number twenty nine. I couldn't believe. It. I was like, oh, these are supposed to be over here. I was like, yeah, Infantino are uh, thirty two, thirty three. Yeah, I got a nice little run uh, of them, too, which makes it even better. Uh, 34. 36. Uh, 37. already had 35. Uh, 38. Yeah, I was like, cool. This is awesome. I'm so easily amused. Um, let's see. When my kids grow older, maybe I'll have more time to go hunting. My girls love, well, my little pony. <laughs> well, look, you know, get them into something where they read it. You know, unfortunately, uh, I'm an avid reader, uh, have been forever. My first comic book, um, I saw it on IG the other day and I ordered it uh, from a guy. I was ordering some other stuff, but I saw it. I re that was 1983. It was an amazing Spider-Man book. Picked it up. My mother was dating a guy who brought it over to the house and I picked it up and read it. And so, you know, if you can get kids in an early age to reading, you know, it, it, it'll be a habit that they don't stop and get them off the screen for crying out loud. Don't let them worry about what somebody is or isn't doing and all the fakery and all the fake news and all this kind of stuff that's in the world. Let them read and build the imagination themselves. The reading rainbow, as it were, for those of you old enough to remember that. But um, it's funny because my youngest son, who's two, loves for you to read to him. And so I've tried to encourage it. And he has some of my short boxes and stuff. He'll pick up my comics and he'll pick them up and start looking at the pictures and stuff. What's going on, Adrian Padawasum? Appreciate you. Bearded Comic Bro, what's up? My brother from another mother. Uh, Spider Woman number two. Um, first store was kind of interesting. Picked up number two. Yeah, kind of still there. So we'll, we'll see. I was filling in some ho uh, hoods, some gaps in my Red Hood collection uh, at one of the comic shops I went to. Red Hood and the Outlaws 29. 30. 31. Then I got these from X Collects uh, auction the other day. Princess Leia number one. Little dots and cover there. Star Wars number one. This is uh, from back when they were still with Dark Horse. 
And then this was the big one that I picked up. It was in the same lot, 25 bucks plus shipping. Uh, Canon 6. Yeah, we, uh, if you know what that is, you know what it is. So, but Red Hood and the Outlaws 35 and then 32. There was a comic shop. He's really more of a, let me tell you how I know he's really more of a gamer than he is a comic shop person. The fact that when I told him DC, uh, that Diamond no longer distributes DC, he goes, huh, no wonder I haven't been getting any Batman. You didn't know that? <laughs> it's like, okay. Um, <laughs> you know, it was only a couple years, sad as this sounds, it was only a couple years ago that I found out that they were the same person, uh, that he was the same person as the guy that was on Star Trek. Uh, you know, and, and for as far as me, I like Star Trek okay, but I'm a more Star Wars guy. Um, you know, he would have been the, my thing to see him would have been reading Rainbow. Um, so, how many copies of X? <laughs> uh, oh, you didn't you didn't get any? Well, dude, I've got three or four of them. You know, uh, I'll uh, I'll either send you one or. If uh, if I find something else that you need on the ASM side, uh, then we'll uh, we'll figure something out and send it to you. So yep 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 yep. Uh, then we got Asterix. I seem to remember them in the paper. It was a free comic book day. Rune number three. Some little Barry Windsor Smith art action there. Uh, X-Men 206. Uh, this is a variant edition. I think this is Simone Bianchi, if I'm not mistaken. Then we got X-Men number 207. This is a variant uh, copy. I think I got this from Lady Fantastic. Uncanny X-Men number one. This is a uh, volume five. This is, of course, a Days of Future Present callback there, but that's one of the variant covers. Uh, Marvel's epilogue, a little Jean Grey action. It retells the story of right before it was X Men '98. Um, Astonishing X Men won the director's cut. Then we got a little detective action with 1002, Mark Brooks cover. Amazing X Men 13, a call back to Days of Future Past, and it's got Groot and Alan Groot. Alan Groot. And Rocket Raccoon. Uh, Book of Death, number one. This is a Clayton Crane cover. Didn't have this cover. Picked it up from Z Collect. Uh, and then Book of Death, number one there. Transformers 35, the Marvel Years. This is some of the stuff I soft collect when I run on it, run up on it on the cheap. And let's see what Bearded Comic Bro says. Same here. We were there meeting him because of Reading Rainbow, not because of Star Trek. You know, it'd be interesting to know, and if I get a chance to ask him, I'll try to remember, uh, but how many people come up to him and say, hey, sign this because I'm a Star Trek fan versus how many people say, hey, I learned to read and love to read by watching you on Reading Rainbow. Um, Book of Death, The Fall of Exo Manowar. Star Wars number 16. This is the dots and cover. It is. Then we got DC Comics Presents Superman and the Phantom Stranger and the Joker. They all team up. Kind of kind of weird. Picked it up on the cheap. Eternal Warrior number two, the yearbook. <laughs> what Valiant called their annuals. Then we had Eternal Warrior Wings of Justice. A one shot they did there. Picked that up at Excalibur Comics. Uncanny X Men 600, a variant uh, edition I did not have. New Avengers number five. Picked this one up on the cheap on IG. David Finch, goodness there. Star Wars Annual number one. That come in that Star Wars stuff I got from X Collect. Then we have Willow. I know I got this from Lady Fantastic, uh, number one and number two. Unfortunately, she did not have number three, but I will pick it up some point along the way. Return of Wolverine, number one. This is the brown costume. I, I have the Age of Apocalypse and the 
Um, I think I had the Weapon X costume, and then I got the yellow and blue costume. Got several of them. Uh, this is Batman. Um, Twenty. Let's see. I think this is Batman Twenty Five. This is a free comic book day kind of variation. And of course, this is a play on uh, Dark Knight Returns. Shadow Hawk Number Four. Giant Size X Men Number One. Magneto. This is an okay story. I'm too happy with it. Loggerhead Number One. I'll probably pick up number two, see see what it's like. Uh, Marvel's uh, X number four. Uh, I hadn't realized that it already came out. I've been picking up the other ones. My LCS didn't have it, so it was out of sight, out of mind. I saw it in another shop. Detective Comics 991, Mark Brooks cover. 989. Then we have Spider-Woman number one. X-Men Smoke and Blood one shot, the Clayton Crane cover there. This was during uh, the X-Men time where they were fighting against Dracula's son. They had a lot of one shots. Uh, Gideon Falls 23, another series that if you like horror especially, pick up Gideon Falls. It's a wicked read for sure. Uh, Dark Knight's Death Metal. Tell me what y'all think. Y'all been reading this? Um, it's interesting. Go, go see, how, see how it all pans out. I only got the metal cover, this one. The other one, I got the Batman guitar, and I got the black um, sketch variant. I got several of the first one, get, but that one on the second one. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, I remember Willow from back in the day. Uh, Nightwing 72. Of course, it's a Joker War tie-in there. Detective Comics 987. Check out that little price right there. $2.99. Remember when DC said, hold the line at $2.99? Yeah, that didn't last. Um, then we got Batman 706. 711. 700. David Finch. 674. And 673, a little reflective cover. Batman's always got to be thinking about how he was made. Thinking about how he was made. So sad, Batman. So sad, so sad, too bad, Batman. Then uh, bought uh, some books from Steven Spock. And uh, he threw this Cyber Frog number two and number one in there. So appreciate that, Mr. Spock. Very long and prosper. Um, so these are the books I bought from him. This deceased number one. This is the Clayton Crane Virgin variant, four ninety one of six hundred, and uh, dope cover there. Then we got deceased number two. This is the John Jiang Comics Elite exclusive cover A, and then this is cover C, and then this is cover B. And then y'all know what this is. Won that off an auction the other day. I already had two or three of them. Uh, deceased number three. These homage covers there. Uh, number two. Nightmare on Elm Street homage. Uh, homage to the Batman Adventures. This is a deceased. The number escapes me. Deceased number four. This is a movie homage. If anybody knows what it is, uh, put it in the chat or leave it in the comments below if you're watching this one on the rewind. I can't remember for the life of me. But I know it is one. Uh, 337 of Incredible Hulk. New stab. X Universe number one. This is from the Age of Apocalypse days. This is the human side of that. Uh, so that's Doctor Doom, Incredible Hulk, and a couple other folks that we're fighting on the human side. And then this is number two. Shadow Man number 13. This is the first series. X-Men 22. 21. Adi Granov covers. 20. Got those off IG for the cheap. 
the movie's thank you thank you thank you thank you i knew i knew it it, it, it was escaping me i tried to google it i just went putting it in right so appreciate the knowledge bomb there um batman 638 this is the second print uh this is the jason todd I already had the one with batman holding the hood and in the and then, of course, this one has got Batman with the reflection there. Uh, Deadpool, Mark of the Mouth, number five. Mark with the Mouth, rather. And this is the Pretty Woman homage there. Uh, Magnus, the Robot Fighter, number one. You'll notice I picked up number two uh, yesterday. So this came in the mail at the same time from IG. Wolverine, uh, 51. Then Batman 25, didn't realize when I got it off IG, which I didn't pay but a dollar for it, but uh, that it was like a variant of a color I already had, a second print. I'm still not all on second prints. Once in future number nine, when my uh, uh, LCS put this in my box, I was like, cool. Then I realized he skipped an issue. He was supposed to go back and get the other one. Uh, classic X-Men number two. Number four. Number 15, a little new stand. Number 16. Number 17. And, of course, classic X-Men back in the day was a great way to pick up on those old X-Men stories that you couldn't get because you didn't have those shops around. The books were too expensive. You know, all that kind of uh, good stuff. Occasionally, they would include those uh, other stories that were back there. They would include new art on the front, which were often um, – Author Adams uh, covers, and then great art on the back. So you know you couldn't you couldn't go wrong with it. And then number twenty seven, and then of course I told you I had some more free comic book day X Men, and then I got the Joker. Uh, I can't wait till this comes out. It's probably gonna be pretty cool. Got two posters. Went to two different shops. Um, room number one. And then we've got uh, just a few more. We're going to be wrapping it up previously in Marvel Comics. This was a giveaway that was done at comic shops um, a couple weeks ago. X-Force number one, that's of that same series. I got this from Hack. Uh, number two, a little reflective cover, Steven Spock. Uh, Batman 449. And then 452. This is the first uh, mention of Barbados the bat god and so uh, a little spec on it a little while back uncanny x-men 346 new stand batman 92 and then another copy of batman 92 the art germ book so yeah folks look, i've been sitting here running my trap and showing you some comics for over an hour now i really hope that you uh, enjoyed this this was about the only time that i could get uh to go live and to show this um because of just time constraints going in and out of town work you know yada 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 you don't want to hear all that you just want to see comics so glad you stopped by and caught this either on the live or on the rewind if you haven't already done so be sure to smash that like button hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification so when i drop videos like this in the future you'll be one of the first people to know i did mention that if you are watching this live uh or catching this on sunday july the 19th that i'm going to be on short box padawan's channel uh doing an auction, her, Rob Worst, uh, Lady Fantastic, I think Adrian APM, um, I think that's everybody, uh, is going to be on there doing an auction, catching some deals. I know there's other auctions going on, so be, I feel free, bleh, feel free to uh, open up several windows. And hopefully you'll get some steals and some deals. Hopefully everybody's staying safe out there, being able to check out the uh, local comic book shop, and at the same time staying safe and healthy. Um, and until next time, keep reading and keep collecting. And for you, Mr. Burton, reading rainbow.